In last lecture, we have seen the relations of the intraventricular vein. Posteriorly, it is related to the scaleni anterior medius levator scapuli and the rectus capitis lateralis muscle. And anterior laterally, it is overlapped in upper part and crossed in lower part by sternocleidomastoid, crossed by the posterior belly of the digastric and the superior belly of the omohoid. Now we will see the tributaries of the internal jugular vein. As I have told already, it is receiving blood from the brain, from the dural venous sinuses and it is also draining the blood from the superficial part of the face and the neck. So the tributaries of the internal jugular vein the tympanic cavity the superior bulb of the internal jugular vein is in relation to the floor of the tympanic cavity so this is the sigmoid dural venous sinus superior bulb which is lying in the jugular fossa and this is the inferior bulb which is guarded by two valves So beginning or commencement of the vein from the superior bulb which is lying in the jugular fossa and inferior bulb which is guarded by two valves and it is lying in the lesser supraclavicular region a triangular space between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid muscle here it is continuation of the sigmoid dural venous sinus so sigmoid sinus The first tributary of the internal jugular vein is the inferior petrosal sinus. The inferior petrosal sinus. An inferior petrosal sinus is connecting the internal jugular vein to the cavernous sinus and the inferior petrosal sinus is the first tributary of the internal jugular vein but not always sometimes a cochlear vein may be first tributary in some cases a cochlear vein may be the first tributaries. Now, some more veins which are draining in the internal jugular vein. the pharyngeal vein the 
pharyngeal vein is bringing the poorly oxygenated blood <coughs> from the <coughs> pharyngeal venous plexus the common facial vein common facial vein the common facial vein is bringing the poorly oxygenated blood from the superficial part of the face and it is formed by union of the angular vein and the facial vein the lingual vein the lingual veins are deep lingual vein and superficial lingual veins the deep lingual vein is accompanying the lingual artery so this is the deep and the superficial lingual vein is accompanying the hypoglossal nerve so the superficial these are lingual veins so the superficial lingual vein and deep lingual veins joining each other to form the lingual vein which is draining in the internal jugular vein sometimes the superficial and the deep lingual veins are opening in the internal jugular vein separately the superior thyroid vein superior thyroid vein not always but sometimes the occipital vein the occipital vein not always seen the pharyngeal vein the common facial the lingual the superior thyroid vein occipital vein and the first tributary is the inferior petrosal sinus and sometimes it may be a cochlear vein the common facial vein the lingual vein the superior thyroid vein and sometimes the occipital vein when it is draining in the internal jugular vein are encountered in the carotid triangle the carotid triangle is seen between the posterior belly of the digastric superior belly of omohyoid and the anterior border of upper part of the sternum clido mastoid the next tributary is the inferior thyroid vein this is the first vein encountered during the surgery on the thyroid gland it is the first vessel which is encountered during surgery on the thyroid gland 
so carefully the vein should be ligated and prevented by any damage below the inferior bulb it is joining the subclavian vein and forming the brachiocephalic vein brachio means arm and cephalic is the part of the head so joining and forming the brachio cephalic or innominate vein which will join the vein of opposite side to form the superior vena cava the last tributary is a lymphatic channel in right side the right lymphatic channel and in left side it is thoracic duct or right lymphatic channel in the right side so very peculiar very first and last tributaries so first is the dural venous sinus and last is a lymphatic channel connections of the internal jugular vein through inferior petrous sinus it is connected to the cavernous sinus so it is interconnected to the cavernous sinus also connected to the external jugular vein by the oblique jugular vein this is the external carotid external jugular not carotid jugular vein so these are the tributaries of the internal jugular vein and fifth petrosal is very first and the lymphatic channel in right it is thoracic duct and in left it is right lymphatic channel and all other veins are pharyngeal the common facial the lingual the superior and inferior thyroid veins sometimes the occipital vein and interconnections with the cavernous sinus through the inferior petrosal sinus and to the external jugular vein through the oblique vein so these are the tributaries of the internal jugular vein